Explore the Outdoors on HBC is brought to you by Cost Cutters of Winona. Welcome to another episode of Explore the Outdoors with HBC. I'm your host, Alyssa Kozak. In today's episode, we join forces with Visit Winona, where we learned all about what Winona has to offer, whether that's the bluffs, the trails, rock climbing, ice climbing in the winter, biking, fishing, the levee, museums, food, whatever you want, we have it for you right here on this episode. We are a nonprofit 501c6 organization and we are here to promote and market the Winona area. So what have you learned in your position here for 17 years? Wow, that Winona is a really great community. Um, people are very welcoming and very friendly and caring and they really enjoy this great quality of life that we have here in Winona. Um, it's such a beautiful community and I, I do think sometimes uh, we take that for granted but it's fun in my position because we meet so many people who might not have come here before and when they come here the first time they are just awed by the bluffs and the river and the lakes and all the wonderful things that we have to do here in town so um, I it's just a very family-friendly community. People are very passionate about their causes and they are also very supportive, uh, whether it's donations to um, sponsor all the events or donation of their time to volunteer for events such as Trinona and Great River Shakespeare Festival and all the museums. Um, just, I think, people who enjoy being with each other and who care about the community and what happens here. Steamboat Days is going to be in full force. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, Steamboat Days is one of our oldest um, events, certainly, and um, again, something that brings a lot of people to town and it's great fun, especially for families because of all the carnival rides and kids parades and the concerts uh, and of course the grand parade on Sunday and fireworks so um, I think families really appreciate the, the festival because they, they you know I think the younger kids can participate in that uh, and certainly for the older adults uh, the bigger kids um, there's some um, just events such as the golfing tournament and there's the beverage tent with all the different bands that come to play every night. And uh, just so people know, uh, if you have been coming to uh, Steamboat Days, the location will be changed for the beverage tent from the, uh, downtown Centre Street to Levy Park this year. So, And there will be the Clydesdale horses this year that will be new. And again, I think the Isis Ritz drill team, there's just so much going on those few days uh, we want to ask people to be patient about finding parking and just to be careful as they're driving around downtown because so many of the streets are closed and then certainly for Saturday when we have the car show um, there will be closures on 3rd Street from between um, Maine to Franklin and if you haven't been to that event and you are a car lover, and even if you are not, there are some amazing, amazing, beautiful classic cars. Um, I know Jim Remlinger, the, the organizer, does a, a wonderful um, uh, job of bringing over 300 cars into town. So a uh, great way to spend a day looking at cars that you might not be able to buy for yourself. Speaking of Levy Park, you mentioned how the beer garden moved to there. Yes. Talk a little bit about Levy Park because that's newer within the last year. You guys got that all remodeled. It's gorgeous. The fountain. Tell us a little bit about that. We are very appreciative, I think, of the new Levy Park. The, the city really came through and did an amazing job of making it such a beautiful gathering spot. Um, it has been, uh, I think, home to farmers markets on Saturday morning. So if you're in town on Saturdays, there's always farmers market from 7.30 to about well, 12. And then um, they have been doing concerts there. So 
uh, come on down on 4th of July. Uh, the city Winona Arts will be putting on another live at the levee and they have a whole great lineup of bands in the afternoon through the night um, such as People Brothers Band who's a, a big uh, popular band uh, for us in this area and there will be food trucks and games and vendors uh, so it's been wonderful because it's been a it'll be a per more permanent spot for farmers market on Saturdays there have been other groups that have activities down there. Uh, Big, Mud, Big Muddy Brew and Q will be another one that will be down there. And then on Saturday, June 29th, um, Leighton Broadcasting will be uh, sponsoring its uh, annual craft beer and tour. So it's very well used space. Um, in the summer, the kids love the splash pad. Uh, I, I really enjoy walking down there and seeing families and the kids just running through the water. Um, and then in the winter, the city had set up an, um, an ice skating ring. So it's definitely being more used uh, and the levee area is just, it's just so pretty. It's a, a great place. It just is lighted up and, and just landscape very beautifully. So we encourage people to come down and use it. When the American Duchess and all the big boats come in, yes. what do you think of that? Oh, we love it. Uh, and you know, the, the guests who are on those boats are always just so amazed at how pretty it is here. Uh, we help to organize uh, an information tent at the levee when they come so we can give directions for uh, places to go downtown and maps and places they might want to stop and get a bite or, or shop uh, and they always come back like the passengers with bags and uh, let us know just how much they enjoy the friendliness and helpfulness of all the people in town and just how pretty it is here uh, the captains also, because they come all the time, uh, love coming in because it's uh, an easier docking experience for them uh, coming up uh, to Winona. Um, we only have, I think, just one stop this year that is scheduled, although we will be working with them to provide some premium tours of other places in town when they're uh, stopped in La Crosse. But we do have um, the itinerary that they will be here for seven years next year i mean seven times next year and so we're really looking forward to that and uh, working more closely with them um, and while we're speaking of the levy and boats we also have the nina and pinta that will be coming into town on june 26 is when they arrive and then they will be open to the public for tours on June 27 through the 30th. Um, and if you haven't seen or even if you have seen and you have children or grandchildren or just for yourselves to come, it is really astounding to me that these tiny vessels uh, travel the ocean wide. Um, it's very small quarters in there and to be able to do everything they do to face the oceans and uh, travel is just very amazing. And that's coming yes. in June. And that's coming in June, June 27th through the 30th. Um, whatever I am saying with events today, you can all certainly go into visitwinona.com and find out more information. Uh, we provide a lot of information on our website and uh, we have uh, Facebook and we put out an e-newsletter every month so sign up for that through the website. We also have an article that comes out uh, in the Winona Post on the first Sunday of the month called Tourism Matters and um, that's another way you can find information. Why would you say they should come visit Winona? Well, I think we are a very um, fun community that's uh, easily accessible and also very affordable. But mostly it's because of what we have and who we are. Uh, I think Winona has been trying to uh, set itself apart of the, of the wonderful things that you can only do here. Uh, 
uh, when you look at all the river towns along the bluffs, you know, we have all the collection of outdoor recreation and the arts. Uh, we're the only ones who have the Minnesota Beethoven Festival for a town our size uh, to have worldwide, you know, world-renowned artists such as Yo-Yo Ma and Joshua Bell come here uh, for much um, less work to get in, to get tickets and to park, to see them in a setting um, such as Winona, to have artists from worldwide come and perform in the Great River Shakespeare Festival who then you would likely meet at the coffee shop in the morning or at the Legion bar at night. Uh, they, they become, I think, so much a part of our community that it's not, oh my goodness, there is that actor or actress that we just saw last night, but you can go up to them and give them a hug and talk to them and they would be so happy to have you do that. And, and it's the same when we have things like Boats and Bluegrass or Midwest Music Fest. It's not just inviting performers to come to the community to perform, but they become a part of the community. And I think it's a much more intimate experience uh, seeing so many of these real top-notch acts in town here. Um, for a town our size to be so famous for Lake You Drive In or Blade O' Donuts or um, rock climbing, uh, ice climbing. So I think we have a really good mix of arts and outdoors and history and beauty. Um, and it's all in a very relaxed atmosphere. What else can you tell me about Winona and what, like, all the different activities we can do outside? Oh my goodness. So there's, you know, with just this lake itself here, with this area and the bike path is walking and bicycling and um, rollerblading and fishing. People, there are fishing piers around the lake. Uh, you can paddle board. And also, um, then again, with the blouse just uh, across uh, Highway 61 from here, um, people go hiking back there and they do fat biking. And in the winter, a lot of people are uh, they're doing fat biking and certainly uh, rock climbing and ice climbing. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Mississippi River and it's, you know, boating and again, all the, all the paddling sports uh, that you can find there. Um, also, I, I would like to mention um, around the lake here, we have a band shell. And on Wednesday nights in the summer at 6.30, the municipal band plays. So come on and come and enjoy that. There is just a, a fun thing to do. And uh, there is just you know free music. It's a great atmosphere. And across the street from the band shell, is also Lakeview Drive-In and on Wednesday evenings they do cruise nights there. So uh, they have different themes on different Wednesday nights. Uh, last night was Jeep night and they will have you know different nights for different vehicles and they also do uh, one night where they bring in reptiles from and you know the kids just love it. Um, but it's a fun place that you can still get car hop service and they have the best root beer floats and uh, walnut burger, that's one of my favorites. Um, there's just so many fun, um, very local and um, very original to Winona, places like that. And I think when it comes to summer, certainly we are very well known for our festivals. Uh, you know, when you have steamboat days, Summer is also the time when we have Shakespeare Festival that goes on for a few weeks. We have the Minnesota Beethoven Festival. We have uh, Dixieland Jazz Festival. And um, then going later, we have things like Boats and Bluegrass, and we have the Great Dakota Gathering. And, uh, and in between all that, there, you know, these are the annual major festivals, but in between all that, we will have things like Live at the Levee. Um, just last Sunday, we had floating in the floating concert on Lake Winona, 
And that's another thing that's very different about us. We don't just put people, you know, to play a concert on land. We put them on a platform and float them out on the lake and people can get a free uh, rental of boats that day so they can take out a canoe and kayak and pedal board and go float around um, the performers and or if not you can just see it very safely from land. Thank you for watching the first segment of this episode. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more information. Perfect. Perfect. Getting the right look at the right price Perfect. is always in style at Cost Cutters. Located in the professional building in the Winona Mall, 507-454-6030. My name is Andrew Pitts and I'm the general manager and owner of Chrysler Winona. In the car business, we are responsible for selling new and pre-owned vehicles in our area, as well as servicing all makes and models. Not only does HBC keep us connected with phone and internet, we also use them as far as producing our ads, making sure they get it out to all of our customers here in Southeast Minnesota. HBC products have been great for us. I would definitely recommend HBC's business services. Call today to get started with HBC's family of services. Getting the right look at the right price perfect is always in style at Cost Cutters. Located in the professional building in the Winona Mall, 507-454-6030. When people do come to visit Winona, we have this beautiful visitor center. Tell us a little bit about that and what people can find in there. Yes, we are very fortunate. Uh, Visit Winona operates the visitor center that is uh, owned by the city of Winona. We have, uh, we are open uh, from March through the end of October, Monday through Saturdays from 9 to 5, Sundays from 11 to 4. And uh, some years ago, we started opening in the um, winter season too. So from November through March, you uh, can find us open on Saturdays and Sundays from uh, 11 to 3 or 10 to 3. So it's a great place if you are looking for information, if you are new to town or you are just passing through and you're on your way somewhere, um, a lot of people find it's a great place to stop and stretch your legs and take a walk around. Um, there's water fountain out here and certainly restrooms but we have great Winona and statewide information. So we are an official travel information city uh, center through um, work with Explore Minnesota Tourism, the state office, and we provide maps and um, brochures and you can purchase postcards and all kinds of Winona memorabilia as well as state memorabilia here. So, and they are very affordable. Um, we have a professional staff that's very well trained and friendly and helpful and they, they really enjoy meeting people and helping them with um, information. Now the office is located in between our two beautiful lakes where you can walk around. Tell us a little bit about the lakes yes. and the atmosphere down here. So the lake path around the two lakes of Winona is about five and a half miles. And um, we see so many people walking and biking and skateboarding here. And just um, a little bit down from us is Lake Lodge which is another place I would highly recommend people stop because for a very, very affordable $20 for the year to have a membership, you are able to rent out, take out every day if you were here, um, canoes and kayaks and bicycles and paddle boards. So it's a uh, really fun thing to do for very little money and uh, because we get a lot of visitors who stop here 
they also will uh, let you have a day long membership for ten dollars, and you can take out any any of the um, the fun uh, water pedals all, uh, anytime that you want. So uh, they are open certain times, uh, longer hours in the summer, um, different hours in the winter. So in the winter you can get ice skates and they will have a fire going and they will do ice skating and they will toast marshmallows and have hot chocolate. So it's fun any time of the year. We are so very uh, fortunate to have a part right program that provides so much to this community and to our visitors and we really appreciate the city for all its work on that. So. If someone says that they're in a rut and they don't know what to do, what would you say that they should try that they might not have tried before? Well, I would say um, taken any of the events, the festivals, um, I, I hear that, I guess, especially with something like Shakespeare. You know, I studied Shakespeare in school. It, it was, I didn't really enjoy it. And uh, Shakespeare is meant to be seen and heard um, more than just read. And the company in Winona does such an amazing job with text and the spoken word and getting you to feel what it is they're trying to say, um, that it's very powerful communication between the actors and the audience. Um, start with a comedy if you're more afraid. And you don't need to understand every line, every word of what they're saying, but just get into feeling of what the, the actors are trying to portray in their roles. Um, go check out the lake, you know, rent a canoe or kayak or paddle board if you've never tried paddle boarding before. Um, just go stop at farmer's market and meet the people. Uh, sometimes I may not even end up buying a lot of what I go to buy because I'm so busy talking to people and um, listening to music there and it's just getting yourself to feel a part of this wonderful community. Um, I think in everything that we have, whether it's going to the museums and really just giving yourself quiet time to appreciate all the beautiful work that, um, you know, either Marine Art Museum or even the Polish Museum or the County History Center, uh, Watkins Museum, to teach the kids, to bring the kids and let them learn um, and just be aware of all the things that are available in this community. Um, I, I, it's hard to think that you can get into a rut here because there's so much to do and uh, so much to try. I think we just need to be open to new experiences and open to just talking to people. So the most, in my opinion, the most iconic land feature that we have here are the bluffs in Sugarloaf. Yes, we, um, we have Sugarloaf that used to be um, sort of this very iconic attraction where riverboats would recognize it and know that this is Winona. So uh, it was called Sugarloaf because it looked like in the olden days a loaf of sugar that you would put and not, you know, just a spoon sugar today. Um, and there are trails behind it, so there are trails that you can walk up and then uh, work with Winona State organizers um, an outdoor education recreation program and you can um, work with them to have them take you climbing. So they're very good about making sure they fit you well and give you instructions so that you're not free climbing up there, but they have, um, they teach you how to do it correctly. Um, and then along the bluffs, we have Gavin Heights Lookout, which is probably the place that I would say to everyone who comes into town that they should stop. Um, it is a wonderful overlook that gives you almost a, a 30 mile view of the river area and it it really 
accentuates why we call Winona an island city because it tells it you can see the Mississippi River and you can see the bluffs on the other side in Wisconsin all the way to Alma on a clear day and you get a really good view of I think just all the very iconic buildings and attractions in town and uh, just the lay of the land and how Winona is laid out because we're pretty long and narrow. It is, and it is beautiful any season. Uh, we take people up there a lot and uh, I think you'll find photographers up there at any given time. Uh, there are also steps that you can take, so if you were very adventurous and energetic, you might want to try the steps that take you and you can walk all the way up to Garvin Heights and down. Um, Garvin Heights is known as uh, one of the 100 best climbs. Uh, the very famous Greg LeMond used to practice here for bicycling. Hey guys, Alyssa Kozak here with Explore the Outdoors and we're about to go up on my first ever hike here in Winona, we're going to do the Garvin Heights hike, so here we go! It took me 16 minutes approximately to walk all those stairs, hike my first hike in Winona. You can't beat this view of the whole town and the Wisconsin side. But we did it. Time to go back down. That's all the time we have for today's episode and I hope you got a little bit more information of what there is to do here in Winona, Minnesota. Until next time, I'm your host, Alyssa Kozak. Explore the Outdoors on HBC is brought to you by Cost Cutters of Winona.